too drunk, too drunk. It's always drunk. Plus now, you just gotta listen. Real talk that we talk about. It's always talking. You just gotta listen. Real talk that we talk about. It's always talking. You just gotta listen. Real talk that we talk about. It's always talking. You just gotta listen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of your favorite podcast, Truth Talks. I'm your host, Crazy Bone. What's happening? I'm the co-host, Keith Griffin. Yes, indeed. We thank y'all for tuning in for some more. This is a good conversation and food for thought always, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah. We thank all y'all for listening and followers for subscribing, you know what I'm saying? And if you have not already subscribed, please do so at wherever you choose to listen to your podcast. Yeah, wherever you watch them at, you know what I'm saying? Any place, Spotify, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Hard, when iTunes, wherever you, wherever you go, whatever you, whatever suits you, man. So, you know, <clears throat> like I said, we got another good show. Yeah. Lined up for you today, man. And jumping right into this topic, I would actually like to revisit a topic that we've already discussed. We right. talked about it a few times, yeah. um, and that's and that's the music industry. Now, as I recall, the last time we spoke about this this topic, you know, it was some very deep and disturbing things that we revealed. Yeah, about the music industry, about how in the late eighties, the scene of hip hop had drastically changed from one form of hip hop to another. Drastically, <laughs> drastically, bro. And I mean, like gradually, but. Drastically, yeah, really. It, it's not even elaborate on long, but I mean, right in front of our eyes, though, bro. Just from, yeah, real talk. We spoke about the secret meeting that was held with some of the top record executives <clears throat> from some of the top labels. Mm. You know, um, uh, at a time when they they were called together to discuss and encourage these changes, and the changes was to basically do away with conscious music and any other form of hip hop yep. that would be uplifting or educational to the younger generation in the urban communities yeah. so we spoke about how these record executives had a shared interest in stocking the private prison system and all this and and the reason that they were willing to promote this music mm -hmm. you know was to um was to intentionally promote violence within the community and to influence the younger Yep. Generation to go out and commit these crimes, and they would basically go to their prisons, and they would make money off the artists and the and the the uh, the younger people that the artists were influencing. Yep, you know what I'm saying. So that's basically what we talked about. Now we're not gonna get into all those details in this episode, but if you have not yet seen that episode, you can go back and watch yeah, it. Go peep that one, man. Yeah, go peep that one. It's up. I think it's up to like what. Oh, right now, like one point, one point five or something like that. One point five. No, I think it's a little more than that. I ain't been on YouTube in a minute, but last yeah, time, yeah, was, I think it's a little more than that. But again, you know, it's 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 very informative and educational information for anybody that is aspiring to yeah. get into this music industry. You want to know these things. Yeah, and, and you know, know what? They, and take it, take it as don't take it as conspiracy. <coughs> you know, what I'm saying, look at it, look at it for yourself. Look at for the information for yourself, though, too. But you know, it's really something that went on. You know, what I'm saying, it ain't nothing that was uh, made up. This is something that was strictly a target that was strictly aimed <coughs> at a genre of music and a genre of people, right? And a genre of culture. Yeah, and 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 we've always been the target. We've always been the main yeah. target. We've always been getting attacked from every angle it, it look, and it looked even up to right now it looked crazy that it's our people in the streets with that and i'm be, gonna be on, on this long but it's our, our people's in the streets on one weekend in chicago it could be in one week in detroit blah, la but i same thing all that stemmed from <coughs> this plan that was trying to escalate that same stuff that's going on right now right and now is what we're seeing the uh the fruit from what they this meeting. right right and that and now right we're seeing the fruit right, the, of uh, what i would say uh exactly. wild fruit not it, not real fruit you know it, what i'm saying it may took it took all this time to unfold to where we're seeing that plan yeah work oh, it's, the dress code i never seen grown <coughs> men put this type of shit put this type of stuff on before never in my life g you mm. know what i'm saying unless i was watching rowdy rowdy piper and that's it you know what <laughs> yeah. i'm saying yeah. and that's the dude because he from scotland they that's what they do over there but yeah. that the <laughs> violence in the music this the most hip-hop man they turned this to the most violent music on the face of the earth mm. period so on this episode, I want to go a little deeper because we received a lot of a lot of feedback on this particular issue. Yeah. And many people, you know, a lot of people had questions. And one of the main questions they asked us was, what can we do 
What can we do to change what's happening or break this never ending cycle? And you know, bro, I sat back and I thought about it for a while. We, me and you talk about yeah. it all the time. And I, you know, I simply tell people, that's a tough one. <laughs> it is. That's a tough one because, because the problem is, the problem is we've never had the advantage of being able to stand firmly on our feet. We've always been, we've always been in the hole. Always been in the hole. We started from the bottom and we still here. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> started at the bottom, we still here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then and we've been attacked. Like I said, we've been attacked from every angle. And the culture has been attacked at at every angle. Yeah, yeah. I that, that's what I'm saying. I don't this is our culture. We can't look, never look down on nobody. I understand why why shit is like why it's like the way it is. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like nobody just picked it up and say, let's do it like that. There's circumstances that made a people act like the way a people act. It ain't just, oh, pick this up and f I, I want to do this today. There was never a, a, even, a even playing field. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. understand it. I ain't saying condone it, but I understand yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, and, and, and as far as like, like one thing I want people to understand, you know, they, they, they've had, they've had way too much leeway to perfect and continue their agenda yeah. unchallenged so 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 they're very advanced and with these and what they doing you know these these things have been taking place for years mm -hmm. way before we came into the business yep, yep, yep. way before we came to the and now that i've been in the industry for so long it's just so obvious to me now i get like like you just see through you see through and you see so many different things you know what i'm saying and just think about it though bro like just 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 ask yourself for a minute because it's a real question. Everybody needs to ask themselves and think right. about it. What happened? What happened to conscious music? Yeah. Where did it go? Because I know for a fact, artists. I know for a fact artists didn't up and just stop making that kind of music. Nah. And I also know for a fact that the people never said we tired of hearing a message or two in a song here and there, or 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 a song that actually got meaning to it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Or you, you know, or something that stimulates the mind and inspires and innovates. I'm quite sure people never said they were tired of being inspired by music. Nope. Nope. Never. They promoted blood. You know what I'm saying? Blood thirsty is what they wanted. You know what I'm saying? That's what the industry, because that sell. All like them people magazines and them inquire things they got on the thing. Yeah. They want that part. You know what I'm saying? So once they get hip hop to do that, that's why they sign in the... It's a damn shame because the young guys, they'll never understand. Not that they'll never understand. I won't never say that. I hope they do understand that no. these dudes are signing them based on the things that they're doing because they want to keep it going. They love that. They love all the activity of us. They're doing a couple things at one time. They're letting folks, they're doing uh, depopulization, genocide at the same time, and turning people, you know what I'm saying, just uh, people just, you, you, it's a, it's just a rap, yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, can't even think of the other thing. But this, it's just a rap. Them two is bad enough. This how I look at it, in my opinion. This how I look at it. <coughs> the truth is, after the after the late great Tupac Shakur, mm. rest in peace. They did they did all in their power to silence conscious music. At least in, at least in the hip hop genre, everybody else was right. making their peace songs, and you know they was you know what I'm saying. But we can't. We can't let them, you know what I'm saying, we got to do away with those, you know what I'm saying, with that, with that kind of hip-hop for a while, see? Yeah. So we have to go, we, we have to go back and educate ourselves about the culture of hip-hop and its history in order to understand what its purpose was because, and, and, and who it was supposed to represent and who and what it was supposed to represent. Yeah. And how do we do that? Bro, we, we got to talk to our legends. You gotta talk to our pioneers and our innovators mm -hmm. and everybody that was great that came before you. You know what I'm saying? One thing about hip hop right now is a lot of these pioneers and legends are still amongst us. Yeah. We have the luxury of having them still amongst us and we could learn a lot from them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like young artists can learn a great deal from those who came before you. Yeah. That's that that's that purpose divide we we're just talking about though. They purposely make us make the uh, hip hop stars 
the uh, you know what I'm saying what they feel older school and new school they purposely pit them against each other with finance or either whatever so they say oh heads you jealous cause we making this and the uh, uh, the, the uh, old school dudes say and man you, you don't know nothing youngster and they keep that little divide right. between them and that's how they clip us they clip us because you know like they they, they, they cut the information off yep. they cut the information off you know what I'm saying and it's like like bro bro it's crazy because I love talking I love talking to the artists that paid the way for me and everybody else after me because you learn so much. Bro, like, I mean, we just recently did, <coughs> excuse me, we just recently did a show, mm. like one of those festivals with um with all the old school artists you had. We, we It was Big Daddy Kane. It was, okay. cool, it was cool G rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, bro, bro, it was so Big many greats. And, and, and I was fortunate to get to take the ride after the show, after everybody was leaving to the airport, take an hour ride in a van with EPMD, both members. Damn. EPMD, Ice T, yeah. and his DJ, DJ Evil Lee. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in the I'm in the van riding with them, bro, and the, the whole time they telling stories and 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 sharing game. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, 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 sharing knowledge the entire time. And I sat back just sucking up everything, didn't say a word, and I appreciated it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't there. I didn't. I didn't show up like, oh, why? Oh, why they got us on the? Why they got us on the bill with all these old rappers, man? You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Like, why we? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, no. I, I looked at it like, man, I can't believe we on the same stage with these greats. We that's what's happening. That's when you know you done really made it. Hmm. When you can sit back and recline with the greats. Yeah. That's how you know you made it. Word. N- not because you got a little money in your pocket. That's nothing Because all that could be going tomorrow But that view How you looked at it That's something The lessons to be learned That humble view You know what I'm saying To be going and looking like You know I'm, I'm proud to be on the stage With these guys too You know what I'm saying You know Yes indeed You know um, <clears throat> I, One thing I hear You know I've heard some of the um, Younger artists Say that today The youngest artists of today Say that hip hop Didn't come With any instructions Or it didn't Or come with any codes as far as how they were to represent themselves or others, <clears throat> or how you should dress or groom, and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Now, as far as as far as how you know, like the dressing and grooming goes, you know, like people have a right to wear whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying. Even 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 if they choose to put on women's clothes, you know what I'm saying. I myself don't agree with it. Yeah, they got a right and, to do whatever and, they want to do, and never will. But to each his own. You know what I'm saying. To each his own. And um, even though hip hop may not have came with instructions in the dressing and grooming code, uh, 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 I mean in the dressing and grooming, the pioneers did, however, make the point that hip hop was supposed to be for the people, by the people, just like Fubu. Yeah, <laughs> for real. It was supposed it was. to. You know what I'm saying? And because hip hop was intended to be our direct communication line to each other. Yep. And it was reaching and infecting. And educating people in ghettos and and in the poor communities like everywhere not just in America but all over the world a genre of music that they predicted to be a fad had spiraled out of control yep Qu- and, 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 and bro it spread out of control it never very, had a slump very fast they they was they was hoping that it was a fad because they saw how quickly hip-hop captivated the minds and ears mm-hmm. of young black and white teenagers yeah. across the world and they started thinking whoa yeah. this could be a problem yep <coughs> and it was and it, it was but what they do to it they took that problem <clears throat> and they tweaked it they said okay it's a problem right now <laughs> like they always saying? do it's a problem right now like well, let's, they always let's do. take it to our advantage real quick and see how we use this influence on these people because influence is such a heavy commodity and a heavy thing that they use it every day on television to influence you for everything from food to what you finna put on. Because like I said, like if you think about it, bro, like after, you know what I'm saying, Tupac passed away, after he was gone, it, it, they made sure to muzzle that entire genre. Oh yeah. Whole thing. That gone. entire genre was was deemed uncool. Oh you oh you suck us off. You out here talking about peace and yep. love and harmony. Nobody wanna hear that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the whole situation of how they how it's deemed You know what I'm saying But look That's how That's how this world go And that's how the enemy Do this world Everything is switched All the way around So so this shit over here Is something that uh, It looked terrible For you to uh, even be living in You know Yeah Yes indeed Bro And um We had the honor of 
yeah. having one of our all-time favorite MCs on the show. You know what I'm saying? That was back uh, back when it was, uh, what, T-Radio V? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But back in like 2015, we had the honor of having KRS-One yep. bless us. He was, you know, he blessed us via phone. But just to have his presence, you know what I'm saying, and um, him drop the gems that he dropped yeah. on us was amazing. You know what I'm saying? And he dropped all kind of gems on us about what the purpose of hip hop was, what it represented, yep. and all those things that I can, that I think that that have become totally lost in this present time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now, 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 don't get it twisted though. Don't get it twisted in any way. We are not here to hate on or talk up or talk down no. on what the younger generation is doing in music. That is not the purpose. We didn't come here to tear down. We came to build up. Yep. We came to build up. And knowledge because life, knowledge, because in life, knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what I'm saying? Like, like it really is. So <clears throat> you have to, and at times it's life saving power. You right. know what I'm saying? So we ain't here to criticize your music. As a matter of fact, the problem ain't even with you, man. It's directed toward the people that are controlling mm -hmm. and dictating to the audience what sort of hip hop can be played talk to them or G. what kind of music or the only kind of music that gets out because they're being b very biased and only allowing a certain form of music to reach our youth yep and we have to be very careful to watch what kind of picture we allow them to paint of us yeah because but, that because that's that's what we're showing our kids now yeah. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be 100 with y'all right now you know what I'm saying like we we all were food. We was all food. Mm -hmm. We we all was bamboozled. We all was led astray. Here it is. We was thinking we was being given an opportunity to uh, tell our stories about our struggles and how we was oppressed in the ghetto, thinking thinking this was our chance to speak to the masses and our stories would finally be heard. It, it was all manipulation to expose us and to use us in the other evil ways. To take our stories and to influence people to want to do, making it seem like, okay, they did this and they were successful doing it. You should do that and you'll be successful too. Man. That was the trick. Hey, we didn't even talk. I got the same thing written down right there, man. Because all we wanted to do was make music and, and tell our story. They manipulated us and they twisted it and flipped it in, into their own little evil plans and you know what I'm saying? Schemes. Oh, that's the whole thing that they did with we this were, whole team. We it's were, crazy. We were telling a story about a place that they placed us in in the first place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bro, it's it's just crazy. Yeah. Their tactics are very sick. Nothing but evil. evil. It, that has to be influenced by the devil. Has to be. You know that, that uh, I was looking at uh, some things when I was doing research and things like that. That boy YK Osiris you know, he was really heavy on that situation like that, you know. And I agree with a lot. I agree with as far as the as far as where rap is going in this direction right now. Hell yeah, it's very, excuse my language, it's very influenced by satanic uh, uh, beings. You know what I'm saying? Period. Because the whole nature of it is riches, females, or for females, dudes, whatever it is. And it ain't just right now. It's uh, been influenced. And it, like yeah, that. yeah, it's not. Right. Yeah, I don't. I ain't. This ain't just brand new rap. It's it, just like, escalated it to was, the fullest. It started yeah. since. This just started since music was when when the kings and they was in their palace <coughs> with all kind of weird animals and peoples all around. They got Bro. music and charmers. So it did. And not to cut you off. Uh -huh. Because when they first started with us with this hip hop, even back in the eighties when they started with them, this was their plan. Oh yeah, I mean music always is going to. It didn't go. It, it's a spirit. Of this music, see, so it can go into like how in the in the uh, early in the sixties, seventies, you got rock and roll, <coughs> some at that heavy metal situation that it was really preying on our music, our R and B and hip hop music didn't really, but we had ours that did that too. You know what I'm saying? We had our situation that grooved our people to some things too. But you know, really in the eighties, the uh, when that hip hop hit, it was the closest thing that's talking to somebody. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's the closest thing, so it it's the most thing that you really influenced by, and you sitting there like, hey, that's why I took over so hard. More than any genre, it's just the biggest on the planet. Period. Mm. Biggest way to get to somebody's through hip hop. If you want to write a note or a message, that's the way you are gonna get it to them. Period. 
So with that, all these images, and they love the pandemic because what you got, you got a bunch of kids sitting there with their telephone, watching a video, and nothing's wrong with the dude that's putting it out because they only trying to do what? Feed and get out of a poverty ass, <coughs> a poverty situation. Forgive exactly. me, y'all. Exactly. So with that, they doing what they do. So I ain't we ain't down to nobody. But doing that, you sharing your story, like you said earlier, and you ain't doing nothing but sharing your story, but your story happens to encourage somebody else and say, damn, I want to do that. Because it's the, actually the wrong story. Because they left us the bottom to get out of. And when we talk about it, it does turn somebody else lights on. Like with Scarface. We see that. We want to go be Scarface. Yeah. We see Nino Brown. Who we want to be. All our stars. Superfly. Our, our stars are old dog. We don't, we'll, that's our stars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't got no Superman wasn't our thing. Wasn't no black comic dudes till the Panther came here. So who we looking at? You know what I'm saying? We really Real didn't. Our, our, we looked at a pimp for our thing on a, in our community. So this yeah, led to is. who we look at in the uh, music industry. Whatever is exciting, they getting shot. Everybody's shot right, right now. Right, and that was that was that, that was gonna be my next point. Rest in peace, Young Dolph. You know, what I'm saying? Oh, like one of the yes, latest, man. That, uh, but man, it it's been so many. It's been so many, and it's like, um, Young man, Dolph. Yeah, it's just 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 like you said that that plan. It's it's looking like that plan. That they um, formulated back then that we read about mm -hmm. has turned turned out to be working very well. Yeah, very well. Because yeah. if 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 you see what's going on, just within the black communities all over all over the world, bro. Like just like especially in America. Come on, like come on, bro. Yeah, this is it, it, this this is purposely driven. Yeah, it is. This is this it's is a purposely, useful tool. This is purposely driven, and they're making sure. They're making sure to scatter all the mess, to scatter all the messages, scramble all the messages. Oh yeah, hip hop is no longer that, that 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 communication line because we ain't telling them nothing. Nah, nah, nah. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody standing up telling them like, yo, look at this, look what's going on. Da, 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 da. I mean, constantly we got. I see a couple people make a couple songs here and there. They try to and, wake up and, for a minute. And, 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 yeah, that's not and that's not what we're talking about. You, that y'all know who y'all are that's making the that's do making a, a hell of a difference because it only take a few. Y'all doing y'all things. Oh yeah, definitely. But the majority of this whole thing, you know what we're talking about on this show about, you know, the majority of this of not it's not even the artists like we say. It's the ones that know they it's universal, it's Warner, and it's uh uh, uh Sony. It's those types of people who's backing these things and putting the, the situations together because they the ones who own it, like we said before, the publication, and they own the, uh, the way that you're going to look at it, too. They own these artists, and they're manufacturing them in a high rate. I don't even know their names before they come out, and they're all of a sudden dead. Yeah. We was talking about that the other day. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're introducing rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like them being dead is the way they introduce the new rappers. Yeah. And you're like, wait a minute, who is he? But he got millions of followers. And now him being dead, it's, it's like, yo, bro, it's like, that's the culture. It's crazy, man. Yo, so it's like, you know. Um, you asked me something the other day, too. You <clears> said, what's more what's more uh, valuable than a rapper? What? And I think you said a dead rapper or something like that, right? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that tripped me out. I'm, I'm like, yeah, like, definitely. What's more valuable than a rapper or a dead rapper? Seems to be these days, you know. To the I mean? to the company. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to the company for sure. Or dead artists, period. Yeah, to the company that's signing them, you know. Uh, if they they you know, they they still steady gonna release things. They gonna do all of that. I mean look, all this right hey. here that they doing to these young men Yo, right hey. there. And I would if I was <laughs> a young man, I take the deals too because I would be so young, I don't understand what's going on with that. I see this is paper. Get out of my way. You hey, know what so I'm saying? Hey, so it, it, it's it's really a shame though, like you know what I'm saying. The the more successful you 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 um become when you get into the business, and you blow up to the level of you know of a Snoop Dogg or Bone Thugs and Harmony, and you know what I'm saying. You have to worry about like you've accumulated them so much money that they'll be willing to. Um, excuse you out the way <laughs> <laughs> That black van Excuse you out the way uh, Just to keep that money coming Damn Bro, It's real It's real So You gotta ask yourself Is it It could be a blessing and a curse <laughs> Man It could be a blessing and a curse man In this world For sure You know what I'm saying That's why 
you know what I'm saying, to wind things down. That's why, you know, you just have to ask yourself, everybody aspiring to, I'm not trying to kill nobody's dreams. <clears throat> I ain't trying to kill nobody's dreams. Y- y'all going to do what you're going to do anyway. I can see here and tell you, hey, man, I talked. He the devil myself. He told me he was getting everybody. Hmm. Y'all still coming up. I'm signing the line. I'm signing the contract. Yeah. I know you would because we did. Bro, when we see, th- th- that's the advantage they have over us. Like I said, we come from nothing, but we all come from dirty nothing. So we're going to take those deals. Like, do you think? Yeah. When, 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 when Easy offered us that contract and we was like, niggas was homeless, bro, come from the dirt. Come on, bro. You think we've been like, uh, hold on, let's go get an attorney real quick, um, easy, and we'll be right back. Up. What? No, so nigga, uh, where, uh, come on. Uh, where I put my market. Uh, <laughs> uh, where my house at, nigga? Uh, where, my, uh, where my girl's at, man? All Just that. Like, nigga, we was expecting everything. Yeah. Like, <coughs> like <coughs> when you come from dirty nothing. Yeah. That's yep. what I call it, dirty nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we're... We're already at a disadvantage, so they have that over us, and then we don't know the business. We don't know the business, mm-hmm. so it's already a manipulation from the from from the jump. But hey, but at the same time, we don't care. Yeah. But then when we get into the game, bro, when we get into the game, I I don't understand why people don't don't come together. Every other race does it. Every other race does it, bro. Like, they come together. It's like, I don't understand why people don't understand that we'll get there much quicker if we share. Yeah, oh, for sure. If we make sure they got it because it, it ain't just us running with it. We got a couple more people running with it because we done gave them shoes to run with. So they're not they running with it. And we building up at the same time now. And they, they, they showing love for what we gave them to their yeah. people. And that's how you build. Yeah. But no, niggas want to run like, oh, no, uh I ain't giving them my, my precious. <laughs> <laughs> my precious. Get away from me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's yeah. how I be. Like, and that's why we still here. That's why we started from the bottom and we here. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but it gotta be like that, man. You spoke you shit. If we do learn it like that, and, and it ain't it ain't too late for that, you know, but we gotta stop seemingly working for these folks, man. You know what I mean? Going at it like, you know, th- this music right here was birthed for, and we going to kick no dead horse, but the music was birthed for a whole nother reason and what's going on with it. And we, it can't get back to that because the more people talk to each other, and the I'm more a- people understand one another, you know what I'm saying? It'd be straight. But I'm going to tell you all the real. I'm going to tell you all the real. You know what my message is, and it's going to always be, as long as we in this world, hmm. as long as we in this world, and, it, and, and the devil is the ruler of this world, and it, Everything is influenced by him. The music business is going to continue to be this way. This is one of mm. his main tools. Right. This is one of his main tools of, 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 of in, in, like influencing people. Hmm. You know, like, like. So, like, it's not going to change. They should, just like we said in the last episode, they may make they may change some a few laws. But come on, these these people have mastered this. These people have mastered evil because they're being taught by none other than the than the father of evil, yeah, the devil. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So you're not gonna outmaneuver them. You know what I'm saying. That's the spirit of music, though. Too, music is more than just on your radio. Music ain't just that thing that's in your car, man. Music is uh, you got to understand. Go ahead. Musical influence. You know and, what I'm saying? Am I suggesting to people who love music? I mean, I'm not saying to not pursue music, but like, you have to have a head on your shoulders. You have to be fully focused. You have to be fully. You have to be fully focused. And I'm gonna tell you, like, in 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 order to escape all the snares and machinations, hmm. you know, of the of the music industry. <clears throat> you almost have to be you have to be educated hmm. fully focused meaning drug free drug free don't indulge in nothing yeah I would agree with because that because anytime you start doing that you're gonna slip up they're gonna get you anytime everybody everybody has done that and had to learn yep. like you know what I'm saying so like like if you could do that Alcohol free, drug free, and do all that, 
and continue to do music because you love it. Not because what you can get from it, because you have a purpose. You you want to do something with it. You want to make a difference through mm -hmm. it. Everybody want to get paid. We got to eat. Everybody want to do that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, when you have a passion for what you do, you make you 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 end up making a bigger difference in the world. Most yeah, definitely. Real talk, though. Real talk, man. I mean, it was jibbing another day, too, man. And it was a trip. You know, I was telling you, uh, asking you about how many rappers had passed away last year in the, in the year 2020, man. You know what I'm saying? 200 MCs, you know, uh, about maybe seven from uh, heart attack and maybe cardiac arrest in the set unknown. But the rest was just straight uh, gun violence. Gun violence. You know what I'm Period. saying? Period. So. 200. <clears throat> 200, bro. During COVID. So with that being said, yo, yo, uh, to our people, it ain't no nobody else. This is up to y'all. Yeah, of course, you know, all this injustice in the world ain't going to stop until God makes it stop. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least y'all can meet him halfway there and quit killing each other. We could do that. Hey, y'all, I'm telling you, it, Come could, together. It, could, it could be tight. Come together until that time. It could be tight. You know, like, I mean, what's the purpose? It really could be tight because the music, all the, all the dudes, is everybody talented. Yes, indeed. And check it out. With all that being said, man, you know, we thank y'all for joining us mm -hmm. for another, you know, um, episode. Anytime we get a chance to sit down and talk to y'all, spit some knowledge to y'all. It's a wonderful thing. Oh, yeah. Want to send a shout out to the homie Kid Capri, man. You know oh, what I'm saying? Kid Capri. Represent the homie. I always like to show love and represent all the pioneers and the legends that came before me that's doing their thing out there with their merch or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just get a love back. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? Whether yeah. young or old, oh, I do it for the for the new cats too. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no ain't no um ain't no partiality. Ain't no impartiality over here. That's man. right. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. So thank y'all for joining in. Like I said, uh make sure you subscribe, man, wherever you watch your podcast at. Make sure you get at us. Make yeah. sure you get at us. Uh, the Truth Talks podcast is back Make sure y'all tell everybody Hit us up Let us know any topics y'all want us to talk about man And we'll get at you man We'll uh, do some research And see if we can talk about them As long yeah. as they ain't too outlandish As long as they ain't no, nothing about conspiracies and all that We don't do that We stick strictly, strictly to the truth That's right You know what I'm saying And always remember y'all The truth is always talking You just gotta shut up and listen Yeah Be quiet yeah. Peace. Truth talk to, make the truth talk to, 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 talk to,